Hi, I'm Wendy Tremaine at Holy Scrap Hot Springs in southern New Mexico. I'm uh, about to replace my window regulator on my 1998 Beetle. This is the second time I'll be doing it this year. First time was the other side, driver's side. Cost me 44 bucks for the part. I didn't want to pay 400 to Volkswagen to have it done. Took me three hours last time. Hopefully, it'll take me less today. All you need to do this repair is a screwdriver, maybe a magnet. I like to use a drill. I'm going to start by simply taking this door off in parts. I already loosened this by just prying it. This is off, and I've got four bolts, two down here, two in here. Once the uh, screws are out of the door, it's a panel, and there's some plastic tabs that you just kind of go pop, pop, pop. If you pull on them, they release, and then it's basically a lift. This comes straight up because this is hanging in the in the uh, space between the inner and outer door. There's three points that we have to disconnect to take this panel off. So one of them is right here. This is our door lock mechanism. As you can see, it's just a hook. So I'm going to unhook that. And then Beetle has nice tabbing for their wires and electronics. So these I'll just untab. And it's that simple. OK, so we want to um, access our window and where the clip is holding the glass. And that's behind these two rubber um, plugs. So I'm just going to pull these off so we can see behind them. So I wanted to see the um, bolts that are on this window regulator in through these holes. And I couldn't pull the glass up to do it. Mine's jammed. It's probably the wire is caught up. So what I'm going to have to do is try to take this black panel off uh, first. So in order of events, I'm first going to unplug everything that's plugged in electronically and clipped to this black panel, freeing it so that I can unbolt it and pull it off. VW has a lot of interesting clips, so just be aware as you're working. You know, they all seem to operate differently. This one's squeeze and pull out. This one's really unusual. It's a giant um, lever that lifts up and it frees this plastic piece from this plastic piece. So they're all different. So you really got to kind of get in there and look at them and finagle. And then um, since this was wired to the door, clipped to the door, I cut the clips uh, in such a way that I can actually put these back later and, you know, maybe wire tie them or something, but kind of get it back to where it was. So we're just about free, and then I'm going to just unbolt the door, uh, the door panel and see where we're at. So what, what are you doing now? I don't know. My door gave us some real problems. <laughs> um, I couldn't get these to line up in the holes. These are clips that hold the glass. So because of that, I really just had to go like do crazy stuff and see if I can get behind this plate and mess with it. And you know, it's just jostling. It all came together. It sucked, sucked. So anyway, um, I'm now up against a screw that got really stripped about to cut with a Dremel and make it into a flat hand and see if I can pry it open. And thanks to my lucky buddy and help a scaredy cat, I think we're going to make it. And thanks to my Space Invader shoes. Well, we had to drill that out. And it was fine because the new kit has this part. We didn't need this. It was a pain in the ass though. Anyway. Um, as I remember from last time, so now the door is off, the panel is off, the glass is hanging with tape, and there's one more wire, this wire that comes along the front, that has a little connector in here, and it's a bitch of a connector, so I'm going to find how it works right now and try to get it out. Again, it's like little clips, and each one's a little different and a little tricky. So, things have progressed. Our new parts here are this. This is part of a regulator. That's new. It comes with this clamp, which you should leave on to the very, very, very end, or it'll make your life absolutely miserable. So I just took it off. So this is a new part. It comes with this. It comes with this attached and two new clamps. So we've replaced the two clamps. We fed the wire into to it as I move one clamp. The other moves to, this is how it's supposed to work. And um, there is one thing to know, 
at the very end when you're threading everything back together and putting all these on their pulley wheels make the top two connections your last in particular top one keep this unseated from the plate keep it free wrap your wire using this groove and once your wire is in this last of the four pulley wheels then with great pressure seat this that should be the last thing you do good luck it's a bitch anyway I'm gonna turn everything back. dark and cold <laughs> <laughs> so i skipped talking to you for a few steps but basically i got my door back on um to do so you gotta get your window back in your little um clips which is not so hard you just place it up against there and line the glass up uh, I reattached my bolts, I reconnected some of these, the rest go on the uh, more decorative door panel, I'm going to add that now. Test everything, hope it works. Okay, I'm done, and this window is working, and it's great. The only thing that's a little mysterious is there are several parts that didn't go back into the car, and it doesn't seem to matter, because the door works, the lock works, and the window works. Now this was part of the lock mechanism. It seems to be totally worthless. These prevent dust. Remember, this was covering our window. It's extra bolts. I'm pretty sure I know where that goes. So all in all, not bad. It took me all day, but I did fix it.